YouTube Red gets announced for those of you that can spare some cash. Apple launches a bevy of new software updates for its mobile devices, and the BlackBerry Priv may not be as pocket-friendly after all. I'm Jaime Rivera, and uh, can somebody please explain to me where is my damn hoverboard? This is Pocket Now Daily. The official news today begin with the next bit Robin, probably one of the coolest ideas that I've seen in Android in a long time, not just for its design, but its whole way of handling Android storage management and everything. And uh, after a very successful Kickstarter campaign, the phone is now available for pre-orders, $400 for either the CDMA or GSM variants, and uh, yeah, you can bet I'm really looking forward to mine. Other official news that are still a mixed bag is YouTube's new Red program, which is uh, your option to pay $10 a month and with the subscription service you will get to be able to download content uh, to your device locally you will also be able to watch videos without any ads uh, but uh, it seems that at some point you'll also be able to get premium content from certain channels that won't be available for ad-based video watching which is okay that's not available yet uh, that is starting to roll out today obviously you can subscribe and uh, let us know what you think as we are still debating what we think about this now let's move the spotlight over to Apple. In other official news, you can now download uh, watchOS 2.0.1, which brings a ton of bug fixes. I highly recommend you get that. But uh, in addition to that, there is also iOS 9.1 that also brings a bevy of bug fixes that are mostly focused on the iPhone 6S and 6S Plus, actually. Link to the description for full details on what things get fixed. And yes, believe it or not, we are still in official news. That's a weird one. This time with Android 6.0 Marshmallow, we learned that Google is not allowing OEMs to tinker with the sleep mode, but it doesn't really end there. Uh, OEMs are also forced to bring additional encryption. They're also forced to give you information on viruses and stuff and your exposability to these. But even more interesting is the fact that when it comes to battery life, OEMs are no longer able to fix what you see as consuming your battery. There's full transparency here, and this it's great to see that Google is enforcing more guidelines. Let's just see if it ends up working. And finally, today's underwhelming news have to do with uh, the BlackBerry Priv. A lot of people are stoked about this phone because, yeah, it's BlackBerry design running Android. It's apparently bringing a more secure version of Android as well. I just think that this uh, new administration of BlackBerry has totally forgot the enterprise mentality because of the price point. Rumors have it that it's going to be costing between $700 and $750, which is a crazy amount of money at a time we could just buy any Nexus or the Moto X or a ton of other great phones for half that amount of money. The price tag is definitely crazy, and we have to consider there are a lot of things that this BlackBerry doesn't bring that uh, new Android phones do bring, so it does lead me to the question of the day. What do you think about this price tag for the BlackBerry Priv? Do you think that it's warranted? In my case, I don't. I think they're crazy, and I would not pay that amount of money for that phone, but leave us a comment down below. We would love to know which of you are brave enough. Friends, as always, you know the drill. If you want to get the news earlier before this video is filmed, make sure you follow us on PocketNow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera, or on Instagram at Jaime Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.